Hey, hi there, Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. And thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your monthly reading, February 2019th. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take the portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe and like and comment. Not only does that really help me out, but it helps to bring your vibrations and energies into the future readings. And I send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Capricorn. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. And your first card. It's the general atmosphere of the month. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Page of Pentacles, Capricorn. This is Earth Energy. It could be a young person, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This is a new energy. This is interest, introspection, and fascination. See how fascinated he is with that little pentacle there in his hand? This could also be an offer or a message. But this person's attitude su suggests they desire money. They're goal-oriented. They could be bringing good news. It might be being good news about your worldly ambitions. This could be a student. They have respect for learning. They move slowly. They're practical and cautious. This could indicate a new job or a project or a new investment. Maybe even new studies. This person is youthful. They're dependable. And they're a practical person. He's willing to work hard to gain the knowledge about what interests him so very much. He is a loyal friend. And he gives good advice. He seems solemn and scholarly. He is willing to work hard. Pages can be children. This is the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. This is the love of material things. This is a good card to start a new business. It's an opportunity to make money starting at the bottom with plenty of promise for future growth. This is an unexpected starting point. Going to be productive. Could be finding something. This person wants to know the nature of things and how they work. Your second card, and it's the energy crossing over your path. The Six of Cups, Capricorn. This is water energy. This is happy memories. Past memories. This is looking back. This is nostalgia. You might be receiving a gift or giving a gift. This could be an emotional conversation connected to your past that's going to shed light on your future. These are childhood memories and innocence and friendliness. And it brightens someone's day. It brightens someone else's day when you give small gestures of kindness. Be open for nurturing. This could be resolving bad childhood experiences by returning to a childlike openness and joy. So take an opportunity as it presents itself to cast off old feelings. And you will be fulfilling important wishes. This is thoughts of a past love maybe that are still haunting the questioner. And if this relationship has ended, you are better off for it. And if the relationship is still going strong, it means a deeper commitment. These are things done from the heart. Your third card. And this is how it affects you. Here's that offer again. The Ace of Pentacles. Earth Energy. 
this is prosperity and a healthy beginning. See this little hedge there? That is called the eye of the needle. And you have to be dedicated and precise to get the things that you want. This is a new beginning in prosperity. It's a gift, a gift from the universe. It's a seed that must be grasped and nurtured like all the aces. This is a new job or an opportunity or a chance for promotion. It's a good time to start improving your home. This is a beginning, the building of a foundation for the future. And it would help to spend some time in nature and ground yourself. Do not overlook this gift. You're about to experience some great accomplishment. Now money can be found to begin a new enterprise. This is a positive reward for hard work. It could be a lump sum of money or a gift. So to remember, get some proper nutrition, some exercise, and rest and leisure. Your fourth card, this is the position of the future. It's the results, the outcome, and the advice. Number eight of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Strength. This could be a Leo. This card represents courage and determination and inner strength. This is a force of character and its spiritual power overcoming material power. It's love triumphing over hate. This is the higher nature over carnal desires. Becoming strong in spirit. This is the irrevocable fate card. This is the inner strength to accept yourself. There's quiet confidence instead of dominance. And openness instead of determination. Because gentleness can hold a greater strength. This is a test of fortitude. There's moral courage and fortitude. The lion symbolizes passions, anger, as well as desire. She allows them to emerge, and she tames the lion through love and the belief in herself. So allow negative feelings to come out in a positive way. This card tells us not to fear our emotions. Your fifth card, and it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The Eight of Cups, Capricorn, water energy, always has to do with the emotions and the feelings. This is moving on and can be traveled by land. This is the ability to leave something behind in order to go on to new concerns. None of these cups have fallen. So there's no disaster. You just know it's time to move on. This is a shift in someone's life from being involved with doing things with others. Now the person needs quiet time and a chance to be alone. Sometimes in the matters of a heart, you may be close to losing all hope in a romance and you may want to walk away from it. There may be an affectionate person surrounding you. This is dreams and visions which are not immediately obvious, but they make up a valuable part of your feelings. So let them help your consciousness and your powers of discrimination grow. Start searching. You know, there's a better future just around the corner. Thanks, you guys. Now, stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. Take note. This is key. We are transmitting 
emitting a vibration and a frequency at all times. Our unconscious minds are literal. That is very important to take note of. We are also receiving, and what our unconscious minds receive is manifested. To create what we want, we must use focus, and by holding that desire correctly and knowing the desire manifested, we begin attraction. We align ourselves to the frequency and vibration of our desire. But when you say out loud and even to yourself, I do not have my desire, or I need whatever it is, then the universe responds to I do not have or I need. So change your focus, and that takes practice. Do not doubt. Shift your frequency to having what you want. Thanks, you guys. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm sending you out love and light. Thanks for watching.